Okay, hello, this is another bubble tutorial. I'm just testing out a new microphone that I have just got. Uh, so I wanted to do a super quick one just to show you how to do um, some nice animations on a landing page. So this is my page for Motomates. So I'm just gonna refresh it. And you see as I refresh uh, these two, the text here and the image kind of slide up nicely. And then as I scroll down, um, this animates in and also the text animates onto it as well and I keep scrolling down and these blocks all appear one by one and then um, that tweet appears there as well so uh, it looks nice a lot nicer than a static page um, it's actually really easy to do so if I show you in the editor this is the page um, got all the elements here and, and what I've done is if you click on the images, um, you first need to say that they are not visible on page load. So just untick the box that says this element is visible on page load because you don't want them to show up straight away. Um, then go into workflows. And if you click to add a new one, um, you can say do when condition is true. And you can say only when and if you search for current um, scrolling position, current page scrolling pos position is greater than, and then you can put in a number there, uh, which is number of pixels. So that's how you do it. I'm just gonna get rid of that one because I already have them here. So I've got do when current page scrolling position is bigger than 300. So that means when it's you've scrolled down more than 300 pixels. Um, and well actually sorry I should start on uh, when page is loaded so when page is loaded um, I've got an action that's called animate and I've selected the element which is my image which I've named motivate header so it's always good to to name everything um, so you can find it quite easy in the workflow and I have there's a huge selection of, of different animations here and it gives you a little preview of what they look like um, so I've just opted for one called slide up uh, and then you can do a custom duration um, or you can just leave it as whatever the default is. Um, so I did that and I'll just show you where to find animate. So it, it's in element actions, um, animate. So that's where you find um, that action. So I've animated the image motivate header this on page load then I've said add a pause just for effect um, you can define the length of the pause and then I've said to do exactly the same thing animate on the text find your squad uh, same animation and then for the for the other text I have put a slightly longer duration just to make it look a bit more dynamic and don't forget you can always right click on one of these and you can do copy and then you can right click and paste it in. So if you had several things you wanted to animate, you could just then change the element here and everything else would be the same. Uh, so then I, I kind of had to guess the amount of pixels um, for these numbers, but you just play around and, and, and see what works. Um, but I've said when you scroll down 300, um, I want to animate again. Uh, and this time it's the image mock-up uh, which was which was this one uh, so I've had that one slide in from the left uh, and then I did add a pause and what I had to do so this is a bit tricky initially so this is for um, this is for when the text looks like it's kind of animated within the image so if I scroll down here you can see the text appears here so obviously you could do that in another program uh, make the animation as a gif and then put it in here but that is actually that's quite difficult i to would have had to use after effects or something like that or maybe photoshop um so instead i've i've just made this text animate onto here uh using bubble but if you try and put text boxes on here and then animate them in when the page resizes, it's really hard to get them to stay in the same place 
on this image so they they kind of move all over the place and it just doesn't look good so i did a little hack and that was i exported this image um the background image as one image from photoshop i also had an exact uh, i had our group and my goals to launch by on different layers within photoshop and i exp exported them both as separate images but as exactly the same size as this underlying image so our group is actually an image that's this big and the same for my goals to launch by so that way all three images are the same size so when you resize the page they act in exactly the same way so this looks the same on mobile um, which was really tricky to do otherwise um, so I've just said um, add a pause then bring in the text slide in from the left then add another pause and then bring in the rest of the text and um, so on uh, so same for um, the next images so that was the the little drop down cards here which look quite nice so they're just three separate images and I animate one in with a with a flip in flip Y uh, on, on the Y axis then little pause animate the next one little pause animate the next one um, and exactly the same for the tweet here so that's it and I hope you like the new microphone.